Hello guys, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to this concept of geometry of straight lines for grade 9. So for those of you who maybe were not listening when the teacher was explaining in class, or maybe if you want to understand more, so here we go. So last time we spoke about um, this concept, we spoke about the corresponding angles. There's a video for that. We spoke about co-interior angles. We spoke about alternating angles. We spoke about vertically opposite angles. So today, I want us to speak about adjacent angles on the straight line. But then there are some things I want to highlight. I'll put them this way. So a few things that I need to highlight. When it comes to adjacent angles on a straight line, I want to say, I want to start this with supplementary angles. Supplementary angles. Last time I spoke about, um, when I spoke about the introduction, when I was on the introduction, I mistakenly identified, what is this thing? I mistakenly identified supplementary angles as complementary angles, and that's not the case. There are supplementary angles, and these are angles that add up to 180 degrees. Now, when we speak about supplementary angles, we are talking about angles that add up to 180 degrees. Now, the mistake many people make here is that supplementary angles are only angles, adjacent angles on a straight line. That is not the case. Supplementary angles, we have two types of those that I want to discuss today. Um, first, we have co-interior angles. And then we have adjacent angles on a straight line. Adjacent angles on a straight line. Right there. So the things that these two types of, uh, what can I call this? These two types of angle relationships have in common is that when you add those two angles, you will get 180 degrees. That's what we have. So, but then we already spoke about the concept of co-interior angles. So, I don't think that we are going to emphasize co-interior angles again on this video. What we want to focus on is adjacent angles on a straight line. So, now, looking at this diagram, the very same diagram we've been working with, we were able to extract several angle relationships. And we want to do that now with supplementary angles. So here we have straight lines. We have a straight line here. We have GH. We have AC. We have DF. Those are the straight lines we have. Now, those straight lines, they are crossed by a transversal line. So in this shape, we are supposed to have parallel lines there. Even though we are not going to use them here. But we are supposed to have parallel lines. So now... When we, when we talk about, in this case, adjacent angles on a straight line, let me remove this so that it makes more sense in a way. Should have just removed the whole thing. It would save time. Okay. So in this case, when you talk about adjacent angles on a straight line on a straight line we are talking about the following here we go the adjacent angles we have here so since this is the last part of this section i'm just going to highlight on this drawing so there are several angles that we have here we have this angle. What do we call this angle? This is B2, right? 
this angle it has a relationship with this angle what is the relationship by now you should know this it's vertically opposite why because we have an x formation right there right they are opposite in this x formation but that's not what we want to talk about today we want to talk about the relationship between this angle and this angle what's the relationship there they are adjacent that's number one they are next to each other and two they are on the same straight line and that straight line is gh right so think now let's write that down to put it in a proper perspective when we talk about adjacent angles on a straight line when you want to mention them in your answer here's what you're going to do you're going to say angle b2 you put an angle cap there plus angle b1 you put an angle cap there this is equal to 180 degrees and then you provide a reason for them you're going to say for me adjacent angles um, straight line you don't have time to be writing the whole sentence on an exam so adjacent angles straight line i will get that as a teacher i will fully get that, that what you mean by that that when i add b1 and b2 i get 180 degrees why because these are adjacent angles on a straight line now if uh you would please pause this video and find for me three pairs of adjacent angles on a straight line obviously we have more than three pairs but i just need you to get those three pairs for me so if you've paused the video i hope you did but i know there are people who don't pause the video so um now let's 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 do that so we dealt with b1 and b2 another pair of adjacent angles we have is e2 and e3 i mean e1 e2 and e1 so i'm saying here if i add e1 with the angle e2 i must be able to get 180 degrees why because these are adjacent angles on a straight line right next one let's say here we are looking at obviously e2 and e3 so i can add e2 with e3 for me to be able to get 180 degrees why because these are adjacent angles on a straight line right another one let me do the last one obviously there are more we have a lot here but let me do the last one i can say here on the straight line a b this is straight line a b ah uh, no this is not a b sorry for that sorry for that a b c this is a c so i can say on this straight line a c i have b4 and b1 as angles that are adjacent to each other and they're on the straight line a c so i can simply say that now angle b4 remember this is an angle you put an angle cap there plus angle b1 it should get me 180 degrees why because these are adjacent angles on a straight line that's all so um you can find the rest of the adjacent angles on a straight line you need to start like this so that you can practice so that then when you are working with more complex problems identifying this shouldn't give you a struggle we good okay thank you thank you for watching now on the next few videos or the next video i'm going to work on solving a few problems that include geometry of straight lines i'm going to try to start with the easy ones so that you can do that with me and then we go on to more complex problems so uh tune on to the next one